but always check out your moon, your rising, or your Venus one as well. So, Cancer, let's see what's coming in for love for you guys. February 1st through February 15th, 2019. If you guys need a private reading, all my information is below. You can just click on there. I'm on Instant Go. My website's there, all that good stuff. There's a couple more days for the phone special. So, if you guys book a phone reading in the next couple days, you get it for 50% off and you can use it whenever you like. Sometimes I have a potty mouth, and if it offends you, just click off. And as I say, Mary Poppins for tarot to the left, right? I kid. All right, Cancer, let's see what's coming in for your love life. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, sign of Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? February 1st through February 15th, 2019. As always, I do shuffle my cards and meditate before the reading, but I like to do a few more here during the reading to get the energy moving. All right, a couple more shuffles and then we'll lay it out and talk about it. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 1st through February 15th, 2019. Cancer and love. What can Cancer expect in their love life? All right, I'm going to use just the traditional Rider Waite deck and then I'll use a separate deck to clarify and open up this bad bitch of a reading, as I always say. All right, give me a second. I'm going to lay everything out for you guys. See what you guys need to know, Cancer. All right, Cancer. Cancer in love. Cancer in love. I'll hold up the cards, too, as usual, so you guys get a better look there. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. All right, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. It doesn't have to be that you're dealing with an air sign. Also, for the overall energy, the Knight of Swords, look how fast he or she is moving quickly, right? Could be to communicate or just exiting a situation. The Knights, they're always, they're coming, they're going, right, quickly, okay? So the energy is very fast. Again, you might be dealing with air. Could be some drama or some aggressive communication with that Knight of Swords. But for others of you, you're just leaving a situation in a hurry, okay? Now, coming into the current moment, we have the Fool in Reverse, Major Arcana for Aries. Somebody's not willing to take a risk or a leap of faith here, all right? And what's influencing that is the Nine of Cups in Reverse. There's a lack of wish fulfillment, okay? Coming in right now, somebody doesn't want something. And I think that's why that overall energy is the Knight of Swords leaving quickly, Okay, because there's a lack of happiness, feeling drained, or just not having wish fulfillment. Somebody may be a big fat commitment phobe with the fool in reverse, or somebody just doesn't want to take this leap of faith. Now, on your mind is the seven of swords, more air, Libra, Gemini, Chris, maybe somebody did you wrong, Cancer, right? Okay, because the seven of swords also is leaving. There's a lot of energy of getting out of the situation quickly. That's what's on your mind. That's what's crowning. That seven of swords, maybe somebody deceived you, cheated, lied, stole something. Okay, that's what's on your mind, and that's why you're not moving forward. Now, the recent past, you have the two of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Usually the two wands is, you know, two is all about partnerships. You have a decision to make. Maybe it was between two people, but a little bit at a crossroads. But also with the two wands, yeah, it's travel, but it's also picking a new direction. Think about it. You go from the ace of wands, which we have in the foundation, by the way, to the two of wands. So now we're planning for the future and we're picking a new direction. It's the beginning stages. Okay, because I think either on your mind, you're avoiding and leaving, or you're avoiding or have somebody heavily on your mind that did you wrong. Because the situation or why everything's happening is the ace of wands. So here's the ace, right? It's a new beginning. You want a new beginning. You want a new passionate beginning, but I don't think it's with the energy that you were dealing with. Okay, aces, of course, are about brand new beginnings, taking action, passion. You see yourself right now as the page of wands. Exactly. So getting out there, manifesting, the page of wands, of course, can be communication, but it's it's how you see yourself right now. So this is more just getting out there, dating, manifesting, communicating, could be with a fire sign. We do have ace of wands in the foundation and page of wands. Okay, this is messages, but again, for your energy, Cancer, this is just you guys getting out there, dating, maybe going out, enjoying things, having common interests. It's a page, so it's like fresh, new, passionate energy, and it goes nicely with this ace of wands as why everything's happening. You're moving in a new direction because somebody, either you or the other person, you don't want to take a risk. You weren't happy with it. You're out. You picked a path in the recent past. That's why, Cancer, coming into the near future, you're going to experience the Empress energy. Nice. 
Empress Libran or Taurus energy, Major Arcana, right? But the Empress is beautiful new beginnings. It's abundance. It's expansion. It's a creative new beginning in love, okay? And it all has to do with this new... There's a lot of new beginnings here. It's beautiful. Now, outside influences coming in that you don't see is, well, hi, the big fat Ace of Cups, all right? Emotion, new love. I normally feel with the Ace of Cups, it's a new love coming in, Cancer. You have two aces here, passion, emotion, expansion, fertility. Be careful for those that don't want to get pregnant because, well, the Empress and the Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands, a lot of pregnancy. Some of you guys are pregnant and you are gonna, or you're going to find out here in the near future that you are pregnant. I'm just saying these are two cards of pregnancy and with the Page of Wands could be born in hell. I don't know. Leo Sag Aries season. All right, so for others of you, though, you just have new love coming in, okay? Now, your hopes or fears, Cancer, is the Three of Cups. Yeah, party, get out there with friends, have a good time, socialize. I don't really feel you're fearing a third party or anything like that. This is more just you guys getting out there and having fun, dating. This is a dating card. This is a dating card, the Page of Wands, communicating, getting out there. Because the most likely outcome is you're moving on, Six of Swords, you're getting out of that mental energy. You're coming to some type of resolution, more so in your head, right? You're moving on. Might be moving on from an air sign, but if not, again, some of you might be traveling too. We have two travel cards here or moving home, right? With the Six of Swords. More so, you guys are just moving on. You have a lot of brand new beginnings here, a lot of uh, promise, and uh, moving forward, love, right? That Empress and Ace of Cups is beautiful. All right. Let's clarify for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's coming in for Cancer, February 1st through February 15th, 2019 for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know, please, about their love life? February 1st through February 15th, 2019, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer. I also reshuffled this one, but we're going to do a few more. Cancer, what can Cancer expect in their love life, please? I like all these aces and that empress. A lot of new, fresh energy. I like it. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What can Cancer expect in love? Do a couple more here. Cancer in love. What's coming in for Cancer? February 1st through February 15th, 2019. For Cancer, what can they expect in love? All right. We're going to cut her and do it. Do it, do it talk about it and clarify this reading all right let's get that overall energy knight of swords some of you may have been dealing with an air sign you might just be exiting quickly somebody is because we've got that seven of swords on your mind and then the knight of swords could be just kind of getting away from drama or conflict what's this knight of swords knight of swords could be arguments drama somebody that's aggressive what's this knight of swords for cancer why is this the overall energy Knight of Wands. Yeah, two knights. Remember, the knights are always coming, they're going. They never stay. You have two cards here of, of like moving forward, right? Of getting out of a situation and just moving forward. Leo, Sag, Aries energy, usually Sagittarius. Some of you might be moving on from Sagittarius. If not, again, just moving forward, okay? The knights are always in pursuit, okay? Exiting. Now, coming in, we have the full in reverse, just not only to take a leap of faith or a risk here. Why is this full in reverse here, please, for Cancer coming in? Yeah, the Five of Swords. There was some conflict, some arguments. That's what I saw here as the overall energy with that Knight of Swords. Five is a challenging number. Strife, conflict. Somebody might have been mind-fucking you, playing some mind games, manipulation. And Cancer's like, uh-uh. I'm not taking a leap of faith with this person because the challenge or what's influencing is this nine of cups in reverse, just lots of wish fulfillment. Yeah, seven of swords. See, somebody was up to no good. They were sneaky or, or lying or cheating or something. And Cancer says, no thanks, I'm out. Now remember, the energy can be vice versa, but I'm just, you know, look, I'm calling the energy how I see it. You guys know I always, I see it, I, I say it how I see it. I don't sugarcoat anything on this channel. Some people don't like that, but oh well. All right, so that's the challenge. Feeling emotionally drained from somebody that just did you wrong. And there's a lot of avoidance and just getting out, really, from these mind games, manipulation. Uh, the Seven of Swords is on your mind, Cancer. Why is the Seven of Swords on Cancer's mind? And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lack of stability. Could have been with an Earth sign. Doesn't have to be. Uh, also, too, you may have found out somebody was communicating or having some type of a rendezvous with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. If not, somebody in the situation was just bringing a lack of stability, maybe very, very selfish, maybe codependent on finances, just really about themselves. 
Now, the recent past, Cancer, you guys have this Two of Wands making a decision, picking a new path is the way that I'm feeling it. What's this Two of Wands, please, for Cancer? In the past, the Six of Cups, probably from somebody from your past, dealing with somebody. You may have children with this person, especially the Empress energy here, right? Looking back to the past, having some nostalgia, some good memories of the past, um, but just trying to plan for the future, you know? Because, again, maybe some of you guys do have kids and you're trying to make plans. Pick a different path. All right, there are some fond memories here, but we're, we're moving on. Now, the situation or why everything's happening it is this Ace of Wands. It's a brand new beginning. It's a new path with a, a lot of passion, action. Why is this Ace of Wands in the foundation for Cancer? And we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there was a breakup or a falling out here. Okay, it could have been a very strong connection. It could have been like a soulmate connection. But with the Two of Cups in the reverse, there's some type of fallout here, some type of breakup, not seeing eye to eye. And so now the situation has taken a new passionate beginning here. Okay, moving forward, right? That's And, and because of this breakup or fallout or argument or deactivation or whatever's going on here, that's why coming into the current moment, there's no leap of faith being taken. We're moving in a new direction, getting away from this conflict, manipulation, strife. Now, coming in, Cancer, you will experience the Empress and the Libra, maybe a Taurus, but more so just abundance, right? Could be some type of new creative uh, endeavor, but we're doing love here. So we're thinking probably a new uh, love relationship, possibly. Let's see why. Why is this Empress coming in for Cancer? What's the Empress about for Cancer coming in? And the Chariot. Hi, Cancer. How you doing? There you are. Major Arcana for Cancer. Yeah. Expansion. And pretty quickly, too, with that Chariot energy moving forward with the Empress. There's abundance. There's nurturing. There's growth here. Somebody probably sees you as the Empress, Cancer. Or if you're male, this is who you're dealing with, okay? But there you guys are showing up in your reading, coming in, moving forward. There's success here, you guys. You see yourself right now is the Page of Wands. Why is Cancer the Page of Wands right now? What's this Page of Wands about? The Queen of Swords. Yeah, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You might have air in your chart. But also, too, you guys are just cutting out the shit, basically. You, even if you're male, whatever, it doesn't matter. The Queen of Swords energy is getting to the truth, like drawing a line in the sand. Things that aren't serving the Queen of Swords, well, they get diced and sliced and cut out, okay? Being very, very direct about what you want because this Queen of Swords has dealt with some shit in the past. So anybody that comes in now, you see yourself as just really vetting. You're in vetting mode, you know what you want, and you're cutting out the unnecessary because with the Page of Wands here, you are, you know, it's fresh, it's new, you're getting out there dating again, manifesting, okay? Some of you also might be cutting out a, a younger fire sign, I'm just saying, because we have a page here and a queen here, so there could be an age difference. All right. Outside influences you don't see is this Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups coming in for Cancer? What's this Ace of Cups about for Cancer coming in? Judgment. Yes. Hello. Rising from the ashes. Making a big, big decision. Healing. A lot of healing energy, but I don't really see this as a reconciliation. Judgment is more about having that kind of um, resurrecting yourself, right? And healing, making a choice, making a decision, moving forward. And it's quick because remember that overall energy. We have that Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords. I think some of you are going to find new love pretty quickly because you're taking stock of the past with judgment, right? Making big decisions. Give me one more card on judgment for cancer. Why is judgment coming in for cancer, please? And the Queen of Cups, hi, there you are again, showing up in your element. And I love that you're in the MFing upright. I love it. This is beautiful healing energy, Cancer. I freaking love it. Queen of Cups, you guys, nurturing. You're being highly, highly intuitive. You're healing the past. You're making decisions to keep your emotions in balance. There's love here. Somebody's going to be opening up and wanting to move forward. I love it. All right, hopes or fears is this Three of Cups. Why is this Three of Cups here for Cancer? For others of you, you could have another water sign coming in too, just saying. Okay, if you're male, you may have a female water sign. I think this is mostly your energy though, Cancer. All right, hopes or fears is this Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? And the Hanged Man in reverse. You guys just want to celebrate and let go, right? You're releasing because you're ready to get out there and date again and have fun and just let it go. The Hanged Man in reverse is release energy. Sign of Pisces. But the, the Haynes Man in reverse is also like trying to have a different perspective on something, trying to really gain some type of clarity or see something in a different light, right? Now, most likely outcome, we have the Six of Swords. So you guys are moving on. Some of you might be traveling too, but you're just moving on to a better place. Like you're coming to some type of mental resolution when it comes to your love life. 
Why is the Six of Swords here in the outcome for Cancer? And the Eight of Swords. You're moving on from feeling trapped, from feeling burdened, from feeling stuck to a situation. Two Swords cards, mental energy. But you're moving away from that. You also might be moving away from somebody who is very tied and bound to you. Eight of Swords, you know, can be living in that mental prison. It's thinking about the same thing over and over and over again. But you guys are moving forward for, from that, okay? Why is this Eight of Swords here in the outcome for Cancer? The Three of Cups, yeah, because again, the Three of Cups, again, you guys are leaving, feeling in that mental prison and feeling tied and bound in your thoughts, feeling trapped, you're leaving that behind, you're having a new perspective, you're releasing it because of the Three of Cups, right, because you guys want to get out there again, have fun, whether that's just dating or friends, but again, a lot of you have a new love situation here coming in, okay, um, some of you might be moving on from a third party, but I don't really feel that because that three of cups for me when it's cheating or third party, it's normally in the reverse. Give me one more card on this outcome for the three of cups. What's this three of cups for cancer? February 1st through the 15th. What's the three of cups about? Yeah, see the page of wands again, the page of wands and the three of cups. This is like the energy of manifesting getting out there again, dating, having common interests, messaging, going back and forth, the passionate new beginning. It's fresh. It's young, right? And you guys are leaving the troubled waters behind. So whomever you were dealing with, Cancer, you've got some good stuff coming in. Okay, it's all about passion. It begins with this Ace of Wands after.